Hey, uh, for Lucille's absence, Jeremy and I will be leading you in this morning service. Um, close your eyes and breathe deeply, and this time of quiet, may you hear God speaking to your soul. who are able, please stand and join me in the call to worship. You call your people to prayer and praise in many ways. This day brings us together just as you call the people of Israel to gather one manner in the desert to eat the same one. God, the gave us a stay our daily bread. Offer us nutrients we need to remain connected to you. As spiritual beings, we desire to receive food and endure faith, hope, and love. God of grace, give us the sake of daily bread. All life is created and nourished by you. May we grow into new circles of understanding and being, reflecting the ways in which we have been touched by your holy name. Holy Spirit, come, give us the sake of daily bread.
This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it. We proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. May God add a blessing to the hearing and reading of this holy word. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. First, I'd like to thank Reverend Lucille for writing the message that I'm about to read. This did not come from me. Once a month, we gather around this table to remember. We hear again the narrative of God's presence in this world, a constant reaching out to God's people. From the very beginning, through the very act of creation, God showed forth God's great power and yet great love. It was very clear through the witness of scripture that no one was outside of God's forgiveness, compassion, and grace. The people God chose to be the spokespeople for the faith were a very and the disenfranchised, the very young, the very old. There were healers and murderers, virgins and prostitutes, faithful spouses and adulterers. Truth tellers and liars. There were people whose bodies that were strong and those who were weak. There were the health of mind and the not so much. And yet God called them all the good, the bad, the beautiful, and the ugly. Excuse me. To bring the message of divine presence. People did not always listen and continued to stray away from the God cleared before them. So God, in God's great love and compassion, came to us in Jesus Christ. Jesus showed us what it was to be divine, but also human. He showed us what possibilities there were to live in pure love, acceptance, and grace. But even the Son of God faced opposition. There is too much money, too much power to be had keeping people at each other's throats. Love dispels fear. Love inspires caring. Love requires generosity. If we truly live how can people make money off of others? We can't. So the powers that be, afraid of losing that power and privilege, destroyed the Son of God, or so they thought. God's love for God's creation, for God's people, was so strong that even death could not hold it. Jesus conquered death and sin, ever assuring us that all that love reigns supreme. Once a month, we gather around this table to remember, to remember that no matter how bad things may seem or how good, God is as close to us as our very breath. To remember that nothing can ever separate us from God, not even ourselves. To remember that we are bound together as one, whether we like it or not. To remember that love reigns supreme, even when the evidence is to the contrary. So we come again to receive these symbols of God's life in Jesus and God's life in us. Hear again these words of scripture that we heard earlier. A loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he same way he took the cup also after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me 
For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray. O God of all creation, of all love, to receive again these consecrated symbols of your abiding promises. May we receive strength, love, and power. Help us to be inspired once again through this holy meal, to be Christ in the world, and hear us as we pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we do not These are God's gifts of love to us. Let us receive them with joy.
praise of God which passes all human understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of God and our Jesus, our Savior. And may the blessing of God, creator of Christ and Spirit, keep you now and always. Amen. Please be seated. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>